here today with Dr. Williams and Dr. Tamisha Hubbard here talking about our pets and allergies. And uh, who'd you bring with you today? This is Nino. Hey, Nino. How are you? Oh, Nino's so sweet. <laughs> uh, so today we're talking about uh, food allergies. And so many of us have experienced it. I know I have with both the dogs that Dr. Williams has treated for me. And uh, what is it? Uh, um, they become skin out. It, you can see their skin's irritated. Yeah, so most of the time pets will express their allergies through their skin. Mm -hmm. So if they eat something that they're allergic to, you can notice that they may get reoccurring ear infections. Right. They may have an itchy bottom. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes you see them do the little <laughs> butt dragging thing. Um, and they tend to lick and chew their feet a lot yeah. as well. So if they have those three symptoms, then you need to talk to your veterinarian about food allergies okay. potentially. All right, so you've brought some examples of some of the, um, this is just your basic food, right? You kind of well, got to cut out a lot of the stuff. Exactly, so these are some of the hypoallergenic foods that I usually prescribe for patients that I suspect have food allergies. Mm -hmm. So we usually put them on these diets for about three months mm -hmm. to cleanse their system out of everything that they've been eating. During that time, they won't be able to eat any flavored uh, medications, they won't have be able to have any other foods besides this diet that mm -hmm. I send home. That's nothing from the table, doctor? Nothing? Well, sometimes no, no chicken, I no. will, no chicken, no, uh, no protein sources other than what I've prescribed. All right, let's talk about that. Now, Dr. Williams, I, I will just use our dog as an example, Buddy, our golden retriever. Terrible ear infections. We cut out chicken. Yes. He now eats salmon. Go figure. And, um, but that seems to be working. What, what, what is it? What have you seen? Well, you know, it, it's one of those things for years, most of us general practitioners have treated ear infections as a bacteria caused ear infection, when in fact, Dr. Hubbard has made us know that they're caused by allergies to foods. Mm -hmm. And so if you cut out those foods, you're clearing up the infection. Exactly, because a lot of times the infections are secondary to the primary cause, which could be food allergy or environmental allergy. Mm -hmm. So you have to address the primary problem, which is cutting out the things in the diet that could cause them to have those reoccurring ear infections. And the thing is too, I know you guys had to do some research for us and find the food, because chicken will be way down in the description somewhere, even though it won't be on the main label. Exactly, so the bag may say lamb and rice, and if you read the ingredients, you'll see that there's chicken byproduct or poultry fat or something like that in the ingredients. Right. So you have to be careful in reading the ingredients when you're choosing a diet for your pet. Okay. Now, Doctor, now many folks have more difficulty uh, maintaining that animal on one of these diets. You're talking about two and a half to three dollars per pound, actually. Yes. So what can they do short of going to one of these It's a little diets. more expensive. Yeah. Um, sometimes we put them on a home-cooked diet. If, if clients are interested in cooking for their pets, we can do that and supply them with a vitamin supplement. Or we could try and find an over-the-counter diet that has limited ingredient. It may be like a venison and sweet potato or mm -hmm. something like that. But it doesn't have all of those crazy ingredients that would cause your pet to have issues. <laughs> This is so sweet. Says, Let me just relax. Oh, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. <laughs> All right. Well, that's just some ideas. If you see your pet scratching you know, at their paws and stuff like that, it may be a food allergy, so you might want to look into it. You are so cute. Dr. Hubbard, thank you. Dr. You're Williams, welcome. great to see you. Good to be here. Bye, sweetie. Now, here's JJ.